One thing I'm interested in about is is the running game and the Harlingen running game. And of course it's Kevin Ledesma as we see, but it's also Brian Blake. In these playoffs, are we going to see a game where <laughs> Manny Gomez goes to Brian Blake and we see 20 carries in a game? Are we going to see one of those games in this playoffs where Harlingen eats up the clock and makes it happen, Greg? Do you, do you think that that's in the future? Do you think that's something they can do against Warren? I suppose it depends on the matchup. Uh, Warren has got some big kids on the defensive line. They got a uh, big, strong safety at 205 pounds that hits. I'm not sure. I really think that they have the balance the way they want it. I mean, let's face it, Brian's not really that big. True. I mean, he'd be the first one to tell you he's 165, and that's, you know, carrying a couple of hand weights. So uh, I think they're doing it the right way. He had four catches for 92 yards. Uh, I think Warren uh, is actually kind of a mirror image of uh, the Cardinals. I'm sure we're going to talk about it a little more. I don't want to hog the spotlight. No, no, that's right. Let's go ahead and talk about Warren, as a matter of fact, Joe. I mean, they're, they're a passing team. They're, they've got the quarterback. They've got Rex Dawson. Looks like a guy straight out of the Friday Night Lights uh, casting manual. And, and what they do is they pass the ball. What will the Harlingen defense, specifically the defensive backfield, have to do to keep Warren off the, out of the end zone? Well, recent history tells you that the Cardinals' uh, defensive secondary is going to be assisted by a lot of blitzes, uh, different blitz packages, different looks, different guys coming from different angles. Uh, the, the difference maker there is can this quarterback get the ball out of his hands in a hurry and you know talking uh, in uh, off the air we were talking that he has the ability to do that and they'll go to those two three four yard games which were working in the first quarter against the Harlingen Cardinals if you if you watch that game again uh, you'll see that 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 little short stuff was working and so that that's an issue but uh, they adjusted and, and I'm saying Harlingen's defense is so fast to get pressure to the quarterback and when they made adjustments to cover the screen pass and took that away uh, that look for them to do the same thing again this passing team this week. Warren, the uh, co-champions of District 27, their only loss was to their co-champion San Antonio Brandeis, and it was only by one point. What should we expect to see from the Warriors? Well, they're nickel and dime you. You know, they throw slants, they throw flares, they throw quick outs, and they'll occasionally take a deep shot. Uh, they don't really run the ball that much. The quarterback, he does get rid of the ball in a hurry. I've been watching them on film thanks to the wonders of technology. I've seen four of their games already. Uh, they're not that great. They're good. Mm -hmm. uh, they score a bit. Uh, their defense is solid, but you know I don't think they're as good as the Westlake teams that Harlington has played. I'll tell you this: special teams, once again, they do a pooch kick, a high short pooch kick. They've gotten it three times, and they, uh, on the opening kickoff, and they've taken it down the score. They did it against Roosevelt. They did it against uh, some other team. I can't remember one of those other. Uh, they're tricky on special teams. They're, they're a West Coast offense, and the speed of Harlingen is going to be key, maybe not necessarily in terms of blitzing, but in getting to the outside receivers and making sure tackles. Look, it's a good matchup for Harlingen because they're fast and they gang tackle. The only thing that worries me is this kid Griggs that runs a 4-3. He had three long touchdowns in their big win over O'Connor. I think it was O'Connor. No, who did they beat? Just O'Connor, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he's a world-class runner, hasn't been... Uh, in, the, in the mix as much until the last couple of weeks. He can go deep, but they don't really go deep that much. They do, 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 they uh, West Coast you. 